All right, welcome everybody back to Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. We're going to carry on. I think we got to case four. I believe last time I was told there was six cases in total in this game. Uh, and I believe we finished three of them. So, yeah. Oh, let's go. Holmes, you simply have to face up to it. Oh yeah, I forgot we we're still in like our slacks. About her origins. I can't you got some V-Book gifts cards for your brothers. Sister-in-law got a mini fairy waterfall feature. Cute. Your dad got a pro controller for his switch. Oh hell yeah. And your mum got some lush bath bombs. Woo! she will blame you for Alice's departure. Is that what you want? No, I certainly... It's as Kate said. I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Baker Street. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. It's been a bad road accident. Hey, Gazi, how's it going, dude? Hello, hello. Oh, bloody you. We'd better hurry. There may be injured who need help. That's electrified water, water down there. His pupils are constricted, but they are moving. He is still oh. alive. Okay. He has stopped breathing. There is no heartbeat. I must act quickly to save him. Uh, okay. Oh. Here we. Oh no. Left, 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 right, left, 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 left. left. Right. Ooh, we're making him making out with him in the street. Doctor Watson. I say, sir. Sir, live, damn you, live, boy. Don't give up on me, oh boy. I know you've got some life left in you for Christ's sake, man. Pump it. How did that miss? Thank goodness. This man will live. <laughs> Ah, dude! Don't just stand there. Do something. Wait, what do I have to do? Don't worry, I'm okay. Oh, you're okay, are you? Please move to a safer area, sir. No. Oh, yeet! <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't don't I could have died if it wasn't for you. Leg underneath, trap leg. Cab is a solid mat, heavy weight. That's gonna take me ages. Not injured. Oh, he's not even injured. He's got a big pull through his arm, dude. Wooden plank could be used as a lever. There we go. On three. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> there we go, dude. Somebody. Oh, you're okay now. I'm certain that Watson is far more capable of handling this situation. Okay, never mind then. Light bleeding. Underneath a dead horse. Oh, for Christ's sake. Scaffolding. Scaffolding presses on horse. A handsaw can cut the scaffolding. Oh, yeah, because I've got enough time to start bloody carpentry, don't I? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, poor horse! Come on, man. Let's get you out of there. Okay, that's another one saved. I realized we're still... Christmas music going on in the background. I need help. Oh, no, Del Oh, Christ. Yeah, over here. In con. Oh, someone's dead.
Yeah, dude, I don't, I, dude, dude. Didn't I already save you? Are you gonna swing or? Dude, I've saved you already like 400 times. What, what, Shula, put your back into it, boy. <laughs> the way he stumbled, I can. Dude, how are you still stuck? Oh my god, because I didn't pull you out. You, Oh, you lazy bastard. You can't believe you couldn't just move on your own. Shut up. Oh well, he's dead. There are no wounds or injuries. There are no Wake up, boy. I'd better call for Watson. Watson. Ah. Ah. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, oh. My shoulder. I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? Why move when you can be carried? I mean, I guess. Gently rotate injured arm to find the best spot with less attention to mend a dislocated shoulder. Oh! <laughs> we good? Thank you for your help. Ah, oh, bloody, you're welcome, you are. Hey, dude, what's going on over here, then? I see no visible injuries. I see no visible <laughs> We'll shake him as well. Oops, I could use ammonia. All right, we'll use ammonia, then. Oh, my head. Are you, are you just drunk? Oh, I feel dizzy. Okay. Oh, so... All right, well, at least we saved that guy. Dude, I... Is this guy over here? Please help me. My leg. My, My leg. Dr. Watson. Let me examine you. Back to wrapping. I'm good with wrapping. Ah, it hurts. There's some extreme bruising. No bones appear to be broken. How did you do that? that? An improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. Uh -huh. Now, let me oh, oh. the bandage. Okay, we don't have to run around. Um. <laughs> I need something else besides rope. Okay, okay yeah, we're gonna... We'll Okay, sir, you just hold this here. I'm just gonna wrap this. That looks beautiful. Thank you, You're welcome. You look, you know, like a million bucks. I almost died. I almost died. I did. Yeah. Well, this guy in here died because I didn't realize he was in here. But it is what it is, isn't it? Hey, I think. Hey, one out of. Holmes. It appears One out of nine isn't uh, too bad. Is the person responsible hey, ASMR, yeah, man. How's it going? Good to see you. How's your week been? Save as many people as possible. I mean, we, I would say we nailed that. So, right. Where, where's the police? Hello, hello, hello. You're talking nonsense. Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening yeah. here, constable? Oh, Mr. Holmes, this gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How are you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. Oh. <laughs> it flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, I. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? 
Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, I hope. That's the right, the police are here if they get to. Dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. That's right, Mr. Holmes. Did you, though? Uh, my read was all, wasn't too bad. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all you had a very nice week, that SMR. That's perfect. You got anything planned for Christmas? Jam jams. Um, all right, wait. What do we have to do? Elements found. Well, I don't. I don't know what that means. I. Oh, do I have to just go around and? Ah, okay, okay. Well, it was like a lot this of stuff. Hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. Oh my God! Okay. This carriage was struck by the scaffold when it fell. Okay. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please, not now. I'm in shock. Oh no! I can't believe it. My little horse. That was my Henry. That was. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, how are we going to get around this one? Probably by... That's it. Do they really have pliers inside of those? No way. Do they really have that inside? Um... An old sprung cart, which has seen better days. Do you really have those Today, tools ready to go? I'm answering some questions. I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. Oh, you were, were you were you are. Oh, tell me about the accident, then. What can you tell me about the accident? Oh, I don't know. There's a collision. <laughs> I fell to the ground. I come over all dizzy. Ah. You're going to go to Canada and going to go meet your grandparents? Oh, Esmer, that sounds wonderful. I hope you have a great, great time. What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. I oh. stopped all of a sudden and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Oh, bloody hell. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. All right, good, um, right. Uh, excuse me, sir. Was involved in this tragic accident. Sup, man of mayo. You hunting down all the things? Well, look what I found this Reese of Enjoy your wonderful broccoli. <laughs> Eliza, thank you so much for the 33 tier 2 big perky titties. Thank you so, so much. Man of mayo. Well, hell yeah. Eliza, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Uh, you gotta lurk so you can't yell at you. I don't didn't realize I was gonna yell at you anyway, but um roar! Consider yourself yelled at. And uh, hey, look after yourself, Eliza. Kisses kisses. Take care of yourself. Christmas is nearly upon us. Hope you've done all your shabopping. Man, these horses have seen better days. This mechanism played a part in the accident. Twinning. Simon, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for the 33! Incredible months as well. The triples. The triple tree trees coming in. A triple tree. Save some for me. Uh, that was that was poor. I'll get back to you on a triple threat. Hang on, what would the what would the bingo caller say? 33? I don't know. I don't know. I can't think what what's happened. 33 on your knees. Ooh. Oh. Anonymous. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Stream Element. Stream Element, you son of a bitch. You better say thank you or don't. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for starting on a hype train. Thank you so much. Hey, Titose. Welcome in. Welcome in. Letters first. What letter? Wait, wait, hang about. Uh, well, what can we do? There's a pumpkin here. 
Oh, yeah, the pumpkin rolled over there, right? Then it borked it. I don't know what a bork is. Then the lifting mechanism went wild. Um, oh, what's that up there? Can we click that? Because that looks... Oh, that's the counterweight. That came crashing down. And then the platform. Let's have a watch. Yeet! That's it. Oh! There's a bloody axe over here. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to ask you a question. The axe was catapulted by the scaffold, and it landed here. Right. Well, there we go. This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp shop. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, hype check. Hype check. B I N G R O. Then the number. Um. I don't know what the number is. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, but then zero... Zero thirty-three. Get on your knees. That's right. Pray that you to the Lord that you're getting a bingo this tonight. Car would be capable of Something like that. Great speed. Those wardrobes felt like. Simme, thank you so much for the 500. Mucho appreciado. Thank you so so much. My goodness. I need to do that. An absolute disaster. You're an absolute bloody disaster. That's what you are. At least one horse has survived this whole ordeal. The rest of them ain't looking too good. He's not telling me nothing. My poor leg. My poor leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you make of this accident, Holmes? I, I don't know, dude. I'm trying to find shit. That looks like Australia. Celebratory bunting. Oh. Dead the man. Dead driver. Another victim of the explosion. Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Cover my face. Don't let them see this me. Was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. Oh. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. Okay, so we got 11. Pookie, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No, you can't. Go away. No, oh. oh. I guess you don't ask, you don't get. That's fine. Oh, hello, hello, sir. Was dead. He was killed by the explosion. Okay. A common phaeton. An uncommon location. Okay, I don't really know what that is. Here's some bunting. The rope holding the bunting was torn apart. A large section of it is now missing. All right. Let's map out our accident. I believe I have enough information about this accident. Now let's recreate the sequence of events. Oh, this is this is very big. This is a very big task for me. We'll wait till the ad is over before we recreate our uh, our event. So I think the first thing, though. Wait, what? What? Chips, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Why would you do that? What? Put your... Put your titties away, Shibs. Put them away. Oh, my goodness. Shibs, thank you so much for the thousand. Don't look at me with that. Don't look at me with that face. Don't you look at me. Keep your titties holstered. Thank you very much. Hey, Garzy. How's it going? Hello, hello. You're looking... You look at them. You keep looking at them all you want. Thomas Flaming scared me is what he did right there. <laughs> yes. So what do we do? Press past time. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It, oh, now Eli look at that. Eliza's, at, Eliza's woken back up and started looking as well. So I think like these two. Yeah, that looks good. That went into there. Okay. That went three. 
which then yeeted this, which will be four. And then this down here was five. This must be six. Yeet into there. Uh, seven, this comes crashing down. Eight onto here. <laughs> Dead. Probably nine. Boom. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. I think I missed a number. Wait a minute. I've missed a number somewhere. Three. Oh, no. Where did this get undone? No. Can you take all these numbers away? No, take this away as well. This should be four. That's good. Five. You're cooking a family down some dinner. Oh. You lost internet? No. Welcome back, Simon. Welcome back. You're still okay. I don't worry, I just shouted at you for giving, um, for being too kind. I've lost something. Oh, no, shit. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's it. Yeah, it looks solid. The that looks solid. Have sudden halt caused this disaster, but <clears throat> the lamppost fell down. Yeah, mobile, mobile drop, isn't it? Oh! <sighs> Sibs, what are you doing? I just told. Put your credit card away as well. Took it. Took it in your titties. Wherever you took your titties, put that in there as well. Oh my goodness! Ship, thank you so much for the five gifted to Paddock nine hundred. Uh, Eagle Fang eighty six, Leviticus Jones, Alice, and uh, Warming Tea. Thank you so so much. We're trying to solve a crime here. We can't be having your train running amok. Yelling more. I'm yelling, Sabs. I'm bloody yelling. Rawr! No, no, no. I can't yell. I should... can't yell. Being too kind. I can yell at her. How can I tuck my card in my titties if they're loose? You should have holstered them. I just told you to holster them. I said put them away. Put them back in the, the holster. Zip them up. <laughs> I don't know what you ladies do with them. I thought I, I would have thought you would have had one of those training bras, but I guess you skipped it, and now they're just going wild. Like those, whoo! It's wild, boops. There's no control in them. On all the titties in this economy, I know, I know. I don't. I, well, to be honest, they'll be. They, they would be earning some dollars on OnlyFans, wouldn't they, if they're unholstered? Let's be. Uh, what are these training bras? Look like? I don't know. I don't wear them, but that's. I heard. I heard about them. I mean, that's. Uh, that's what I. That's what I heard. So I don't know if they. If you guys actually have them. You wear bras? I don't. I don't. I wonder. I don't know if I would. I don't know if it'd look good. Maybe I would though. Maybe I'd suit it. You know. <laughs> Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. Okay. You know. Might I ask you some? No. No, you can't. Okay. We're not getting anything over here. Celebratory bunting. Celebratory bunting. My poor leg. My bloody poor leg. Might I ask you some questions regarding... He wears yesterday. a bro, not a bra. Yeah, that's right, Simon. <laughs> that's right. I've got my bro. I've got my bro on. What a... What a bloody caught on it. Oh, no. Oh, Simon, you rode it. 
I was just reading what you wrote. Disaster. My, it's not my, my bros are supporting me over here. <laughs> they keep, they're keeping me, you know, lifted and perky. Without them, I'll just be sad and floppy. <laughs> 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 ah, dear. Is that the... Is <laughs> ah, Lord above. Oh! I hate being a mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you as well as while we run around. I don't. I oh no. I can't concentrate. There's too much stuff has been going on. And uh, I need to tell you about my massage that happened today. What's happening here? Can we? Can we like see this guy? Is he? Do I have to go to talk to the policeman? Because I can't seem to do anything here, officer. Mr. Holmes. Okay, fuck shit. I've not seen a traffic accident like this before. N nah, neither me, dude. I don't know what we've done. We've, we've some, something's happened. There's someone I've got to speak to. I don't know what's happened. Uh, this is, just makes no sense. Jam, thank you so much for the 180. Mucho preciado. So, so much. Wait, hang about, Sam. Why don't you yell at ships? You can yell at ships as well, you know. You know, I don't have to leave it all to me. I'm not very good at yelling. My poor leg. I, I kind of ran out of vocabulary after I told her to, you know. Yeah, after I told her that, yeah. Hey, thank you so, so much for the hype train. Mucho appreciado. You definitely, you did not need to do that. But thank you so, so much for all of the support. What an appropriate emote. Shibs, well done on getting such an appropriate emote. Mucho appreciado. Hey, GG's. Thank you so, so much. Oh my God, that's like, so Shibs. Yes. It is quite a cute one. There's about like a handful. I would say there's about like four or five, which are really good. Just type it in. Just type it in, Simon. We can all tell you. Hype, hype cries. That sabs. Oh yeah, woe is me. I ran out of space for all my plushies. Woe is me. I've got so many boxes everywhere. <gasps> hey, it worked, Simon. DDs. Do I have to, like, switch characters here, or... I guess I can't... I thought I would have had to investigate these men. But I can't do that, so... Oh. The pumpkins fell here after the sprung cart collided. Okay... Well, I'm but not be putting these... The old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. Oh. There's a metal strapping. Oh, it's big... This cab was painted recently. Oh, that's so stupid. There is some text underneath the paint here. It could be important. I'll need to find a way to remove this fresh paint. Oh, sp spit. Oh, now we can. Okay, so we could. Because I was going to say we didn't investigate this. Jem, thank you so much for the, uh, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the lurk. You going for real reels for real life? Now that the madness is over, you got to go and judge me. Okay, that's fine. Hype check. He's been drink. Oh, well. Some kind of solvent. Yeah, easy paint remover. Easy fabric drenched in solvent. Oh, well, I guess we're just taking all of that. He's got a, whatever that is. A tattoo on his A dog a tattoo. tattoo. I suspect it's from a gang. Oh, look at you, Chip. Hang on. Itchy knee, sanchi go. Itchy knee, sanchi go. Itchy knee. So you need two more level threes. A level five, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six level five hype trains, and you'll have finished. Oh my god. This man was killed by electricity, as shown by yeah. the distinct mark on his hand. Is this going to be shh? Oh, it's licorice. Kinky. He's got dirt on his boot. Ooh, Simon as well. Simon didn't get the hype lick. The hell's that? He's a rascal. rascal. Yes, I know him. He's a small-time local criminal. Oh, is that him then? Pneumatic hammer. All oh, right. Okay. 
Uh, what else do we have in here? Usually it throws you out once you've investigated everything, so... Mud. Oh, smells bad. Ah, there we go. Okay. So we can wipe this off now. Wait, is it all... Have you got that super torrential rain as well? Simon, if you're still there on mobile, is that what threw it all off? Is it the weather? Underground Electric Railway Company of London Ten, in it. Oh, it's not raining. You just lost the power. Underground Electric Railways. Is that like the whole neighborhood, though, or is it just your house? Did you just trip it or something? T money charging too many, uh, too many devices. This crank has been turned. Oh, it rest the router restarted. Oh. Oh, dear. I was going to say, maybe it won't be a good idea to plug that third monitor in. You know, you might be overloading the uh, the national grid with it. Probably probably best to leave it in the box. This guy's got a tattoo as well. And more electrical burns. He's got a gun. Son of a bitch. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Webley, I suspect. Wait, what's that? Wait, wait, wait. What would that say? It says... Maybe it's something... Foot? Oh, here we go. Pungent mod. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tess! Thank you so much for the lurk. Um, did you finish streaming, Tess? Has Tess finished streaming? How was, uh, I hope you had a good day, 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 Daylight Valley, I nearly said. Uh, Dreamlight Valley. I hope you had a great Dreamlight Valley. Uh, I saw you were doing some, um, you hate Gaston. Was that who you were whinging about? Because I know, um. There is some electrical wiring here beneath the manhole. Because uh, M said you went on a massive rant. You were bitching about Remy. Oh. What did Remy do? Ungrateful rat. <laughs> oh, dear. I remember you seeing you stealing some... Not stealing. Acquiring some gold. And then you said, I'm not going to give that to anybody. And I was like, ooh. I know. A double lot pit may be used on the, as the same way as two singles. Right. And? Oh, I need a 3 1. And then we need a 2 2. Um, I need to remove that. Do we have a 2 2? No. I don't have 2 2. I think we could probably use a 3 2, though, right? Yeah, easy. Why? What was he not? What was he not appreciating about your test? Was he not? I've not that? seen such a device before. Neither have I. What is it? I'm just clicking. Just click all the levers. Oh, it's an electrical coil. It's an electricity machine. Uh, okay. Oh, so do you have to get it, like, in a particular... The electrical oh. charge which affected the technical cab came from here. Ah. Oh. There's... 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 There's, there's the murder of fun. Very well from here. Yeah, me too. Smoke on the water. Magistrate Adcock. So it's no longer a crime for a woman to smoke in a public area. <gasps> Is that because women are smoking hot? Probably. 
Oh yeah, so today I went for my uh a glass containing traces of alcohol. An open bottle of cheap wine. Oh. I'm pretty sure in a different scenario, this same bottle of wine. Same bottle of wine popped up and it was supposed to be oh yeah, this is a very fancy, very fancy bottle. <laughs> Bullshit. He said because he's achieved his dreams and now has no inspiration and no time to get inspired. So he wants me to cook the food that'll inspire him. And you're busy saving the world. Thank you very much. All right, well, that's what you need to tell him. You need to sit him down and tell him straight, te Tess, you know. He can't just be an old bossing, bossing you around. Don't let a little rat boss you around. Say no. Just say, just, just tell him straight, no. You know, find your own inspiration. Get out there. Get out in the world. Or ask him if you want to swap. You know, you go and save the world, and I, and I'll do some cooking. No, you've got to find a bit of um, you got to find a bit of a balance. Holmes, I was looking for you. I haven't. You need to do all the here. things. Never mind. Oh. This one well, I guess you'll unlock some what? stuff though, Tess. What? You? You're a murderer. You're off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh yes, a murder. And an accident, because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen, don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. Now I see five men who could be our murderer. Let us take a look at the map. Okay. Suspects found. My poor leg. Okay, right. Let's analyze this man. All right. Uh, all right. Could be. Distant. And there's this guy who doesn't want to tell me nothing. All right. So we've got our five suspects. So we're going to do a map of the accident. Okay, so. Uh, right, hang on, hang on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So we've got to figure out who has done, who could have, right, who's a suspect and who's not. So this man was found not far from the flats where the electrical device is situated. But he had chosen the role of workman to watch his victims in the square without raising suspicion. Okay, so he's a suspect. This man is beneath the window where the electrical device is placed. He had time to activate it before entering the street. The man is a driver. I, I, I really don't think a driver is going to have the time. So I'm going to say not a suspect for the drivers. And I'm going to say this guy is a suspect as well. Because to be honest, the drivers are the only people that actually talk to me. This man is near the end of the square. He did attempt to leave uh, perhaps because he did not want to wish to the police. But he had, time, he had time to activate the electrical device and run away. All right. Let's confirm that. Yeah. I think that's uh, confirm that. Oh, here you go. So the man with the busted Thank leg, technically still on the radar. Them. Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. In order to trap the cab, the killer must have known the precise route it would take. Or even, that could suggest the cab must have set out not far from here, in this very street, perhaps. Remarkable. Holmes, I'm terribly sorry, but I must go to the hospital now to help tend to the wounded. I understand, Watson. But don't forget our earlier discussion. Hmm? About Kate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I won't know of you. Okay. All right. Examine the belongings. Oh, yeah, no, but is there anything else left to do here, or are we good? 
Oh wait, hang on. We've got T vision. Aha! Mud. Oof. Smells bad. There was a collision here. Fresh paint, but from something else. The tentacle cap collided and stopped here. Oh, okay. The lock was forced. Can we just... Oh, <laughs> we can just open it up? All right, then. The trail of mud goes through the entire room. Snake nests and conspiracy in the district of St. Victor. While in the act of demolishing an old house, masons have uncovered a nest of snakes, which have spawned upwards of a hundred squirming reptiles. These reptiles did inhabit the bottom of a well. Long since dried up in the middle of the snake nest, there was a skeleton of a child who would likely plunge down the well to his or her death. The present the skeleton in question was still holding a real Morocco portfolio. A red Morocco portfolio, much disintegrated apart from one legible strip of paper which read, Do not reveal the plot. Well, you know, there you go, kids. Kids a little snitch. You know what snitches get? That's right, throw down the well. I still need to tell you the story about my massage today as well. Uh, I keep forgetting. Um... It was uh, It was quite the experience, I'll tell you that. Okay. Oh. Yes. Jam Jam, why are you angry? So now we need a three, four. Oh, uh, this one. So that's going to go to the back. And then we need a three at the front. We're in. Hell yeah. So, uh, today, I went for my very first massage ever in life. A workshop. And... I, I really should stop playing games when I play, because I get so distracted about what I'm doing. I, I'll finish it in a minute. Intentionally. A bloody big hill. That's what that is. Access point to the sewers. Let's go. So I, I went today to my very first um, uh, massage. Because my neck's been learning a little bit. I damaged I, I No, I damaged it. I pulled it in my sleep. I don't know how. I don't really know how. You could be the biggest headbanger in the world, go into all these, like, metal mosh pit pits and everything else. And then all you need to do is sleep a little bit funny, and your neck is just like, Ugh. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a, I'm gonna get a little massage. So I, I went today. I wanted to get it yesterday because I got my hair cut yesterday. But then I, I went today, and I thought, ooh, that's, uh, that should help me. And I think it did. You know, I think it did. The next still hurts, but you know, it's not gonna. It's not. Gonna, it's not so instant treatment. Uh, but I went, and it was like a 15 minute. I've never had a massage, so I wasn't gonna put myself in for like two hours or something like that. And it was 15 minutes. It cost me about eight bucks or something like that. So it wasn't too bad. I don't know how much massages cost, so that could have been very expensive, but it seemed pretty like a pretty good deal to me. And I so I went there. And it was kind of like a reclining chair. And basically, she just kind of did like the arms and like the shoulders. So <laughs> I got asked like a, one question through me. And she was massaging my arm. And my, obviously, I've got massive uh, muscle arms, you know. My big bulging biceps, as they say. Used to call me Triple B back in high school. And she said, oh, do you play sports? And she put this, like, towel over my eyes. And I was doing my best to relax. So all I was thinking was, like, relax, relax. So I didn't really hear her. I didn't realize she was going to talk to me. Yeah, sports. Yeah, you know, you're an old sports soup over here. So she asked me if I did sports. And I was like, uh. And I wasn't listening because I was, re I was really telling myself to relax. I just went, yeah. <laughs> and then she went, oh, uh, what sports do you do? And I was like, oh. Um, I said, uh, track and field, 
but uh, recently I've not really done too much. And uh, back in university, I used to do, we used to have a home gym, which is legit. We did used to have a home gym back in university, and we used to do like, like weights and stuff like that. Yeah, I used to do that. I used to do bench presses and bicep curls. I was that guy. I did that. Me. Me. I was. That was me, you know. Pushing up those 500 grams. Uh, kilos. Yeah, 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 definitely kilos, you know. You know, that was me. I was pumping that iron, as they say. And so I just said to her, yeah, I don't know if she thought, I think she probably worried where my muscles were. But, uh, doubt? What do you mean, doubt? Whatever. Whatever. Shoo. I'm built like the side of a brick shed. Yeah, that's right. Shoo. I tell you, sometimes I can't even put my arms down my sides, you know. They just stick out because of all my bulging muscles. So, yeah. Trackerville. I did do. That's legit, though. I did do running. I did running. I like running. I've got no coordination with my uh, hands. So, I, don't, I didn't do anything that involved, sp like, balls. So, constantly T-posing. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can, I'm not, I don't have any, like, what's it called? Hand-eye coordination so to speak, or foot-eye coordination, so anything like soccer and stuff like that, I'm no good at. But running, I can run. I'm good at just running, you know, because all you need is your legs for that, nothing else. So, yeah, she asked me this question, and she went, oh, I didn't ask any more after that. So, I don't think... Um, I don't think she believed me. So, she asked me no more questions after that. And you know what the thing is, though, right? Because I'd never been to a massage. I didn't really know what to expect, right? So she put, I, I sat in this chair. She reclined it back. And, like, I don't know what it is about reclining chairs. But I get really, I get scared. Because <laughs> I don't know how far back to lean. Because I don't go back with the chair. The, tr the chair reclines and then I lean back. <laughs> I should just probably go back with the chair. But I, I get, like, I don't know. I always just, st st <laughs> I'm just there. I was just upright and the chair had reclined. So I had to, I don't know. Don't know what, don't, don't, don't. I don't know. It's just a weird thing. I don't know why it is. And then I lower myself down really slowly <laughs> until, it's like at the dentist, you know, they always sit in the chair and then they lower it and my body just stays in place. It doesn't go down with the chair. Well, like it should do. But anyway, so I was, she put this towel on me initially before she asked me about my big bulging muscles. And my and the sports, she put it on right, and she was just like, "Okay, so you know, we're gonna start it now." I just relax. I was like, "Okay," and as soon right, she picked up my arm, and as soon as she touched me, I tensed up. <laughs> I tensed. <laughs> my whole body just tensed up. I was like, "No, she's touching me." <laughs> I think it's just, oh, "No, no, touch me, no." <laughs> She's like, it's okay, just relax. And her hands were super soft. Her hands were super, super soft as well, which really, uh, it was really odd. And they were really warm, because obviously I'd walked, right, to there, and it was really cold outside, so I had cold hands. And so when I got in there, I was then warm up straight away. You know, it takes a little bit of time for so your hands or whatever to warm up. So she she would obviously been inside, and she just touched me. And I was like, <laughs> no, contact. And, we, and uh, she even touched my hand with her hand. But she, luckily she was married, so I don't think she got pregnant. So, woo! Safe. Avoided that uh, catastrophe. So, yeah, that, that's my story. And then she told me that my shoulders and stuff were really stiff. And I was like, yeah, they are. My baby comes out, man. Oh, there. You know what, though? Her husband cuts my hair, so, you know, I might be ending, uh, might end up with a lost ear or something next time I go in, if she does. He's always there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smackers! Sir, I'm, I'm lurking you, sir. You're supposed to be streaming. Oh, you're just chatting as well now. Stiff, yeah. I don't know what it is. I tense up really easily. So, yeah, when she touched me, I just tensed up. I could feel myself, like, bring my shoulder. Like, you know when you shrug? I could feel my shoulders come all the way up, like, below my ears. 
when she <laughs> I've not been touched for such a long time. I didn't I don't know. I didn't know what to do. I've never had a massage before. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know the etiquette. So yeah, I guess I just got scared. I would like to go for one of those proper ones though, you know. Touch you in the right places, yeah. It's my hand. <laughs> what can I say? I've got just my weak point is my hands. It's tough to relax people don't have much effort to relax it. It really does. It really, really does. Like it's when I'm at home, you know, I'm just like but then even at home, when you're playing games, how often do you not realize that, like, your shoulders are crunched or you've, you've hunched your back over or something because you've not relaxed? You never. Are you ever really relaxed is the question you've got to ask yourself. Like, how many people now need to actually, you know, just lower their shoulders down, you know? A proper one? Yeah, like, you know, the one where you lie in a bed and you put your face through the little hole. You know, one of them. And then they... And then they bring in the... The little a, the little, uh, the a, little Asian woman and she just walks all over you. Or maybe that's from one of those special videos I watched on the internet. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that. A pneumatic drill, the same as the one that we found in the technical cap. And then they put, like, the hot, the hot rocks on you and stuff. Oh, okay, I don't know what we need to do with that yet, so I mean, we could be brute force. You watching videos the Pookie sent you? Yeah, they can reckon fully recommend it. Pookie has slid into the dooms and was like, Hey Squire! And you might like this one. I was like, oh yeah? He was like, yeah, this one's a this one's a great. I can fully recommend it. I was like, ooh, ooh. alright then. Uh, oh, that, oh, I'll take some notes here. Yeah, so I don't know if I can ever really proper relax. I think what I need to do is fall asleep. Because once you've fallen asleep, right, then you've relaxed. And, peop you know, then the body it just becomes a dead weight. So people could, like, you know, move the shoulder or whatever. Because, obviously, if you're trying to massage someone and someone's tense, I don't think it's really going to work, is it? <clears throat> That's me flexing in the mirror in the morning. <clears throat> Hang about. Stop it. Stop it. I think we need to push it the other way, dude. And, uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, also, so she, she, like, so she, like, lifted my arm up, right? And then, like, worked her way down from my palm to, like, my, my shoulder. And... Like, after she finished, like, she let go of my arm, right? But I think I was, even though I was trying to relax, it, I don't think it worked. Because after she let go, my arm was still in the air. <laughs> I didn't know if she was coming back for it. You know, maybe she just, we just, I don't know, I don't know what massage masseuses do. So my arm was just in the air, and then apparently she was going around to the other side. So she was like, um... Oh, yeah, we can probably uh, just uh, lower that back down. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, no, what do I do? Because, you know, if I would have fully been relaxed, like a dead weight, she would have, um, you know, my arm would have come crashing down. That would have hurt. So, yeah. Oh, have you guys had, a, like, a proper massage or whatever, whatever a proper massage is? Like, a proper full body one. You're afraid while I, I will sleep in the wrong position hurt my neck, same. That happened to me just the other day. In the tales of Squire the Awkward, yeah. Oh, no, not this again. No, no, no. Uh -huh. oh, oh, don't be such a fool. Oh no. 
Oh no. Yeah. So. How many people here talk when they go to the hairdressers as well? The, I, I, I always think the hairdresser really tries his best to talk to me. And I just shut him down at every possible opportunity. Because I really don't know. He asked me, he was like, oh, what are you doing in winter vacation? You going any anywhere? And I went, nope. And that was it. They fucking killed it dead, didn't I? I was like, well, that, that's, uh, that answers that, I guess. You're bald, it'll say. I, I, I like to get my four, ha my four hairs trimmed, though. You know, you don't want to get them too long. I don't want to look like one of those uh, stereotypical hentai OG-sans, you know what I mean? With glasses. I don't wear glasses, but you know. But like the hair that goes, like, they just flop it over from one side to the other. Terry regularly rubs my feet and legs. Oh, that's nice of him. Well done. GG's, T-Money. GG's. Wait, what's going on here? I'm so lost with it. Oh, the ladder, the ladder be broken. Oh, you just boss it. You just boss cut it. Oh, that's, uh... I was tempted to ask for a boss cut, actually. You really need a haircut? Why don't you ask Terry to do it? <laughs> it been for well over a year. You have Ichiban Mijikai? Oh, no, no. I was going to get, like, the longest. Ichiban the guy. You buzz Terry's head? Well, they just do your own. You, you two can do each other's. You know what I mean? Then you can be twinning. That'd be cute. You don't want a buzz cut. Ah, oh, there's no pleasing some people, is there? This isn't gonna work, is it? Do I really have to do the same? Ah, oh, why do I have to do this just to get back all? Oh. You said you had a haircut yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I did. But I had to go back to the same place. So in the in the in the in the thing, which hair? Wouldn't you like to know? He did a good job though. He made sure not to not to nick anything important. Yeah, I know. I've still got both my ears. Cause he gets like the uh, what's it called? That thing, the cut cutthroat razor. Does he shave you too? No. You know what? The, <laughs> actually, I've got a good story about that because he does do the shave as well. There's like a whole thing where you can have like, uh, like your hair washed and everything. Like, I don't do all that. I just get my hair cut. Um, and then he kind of like shaves around like the, like the back of the ears and at the back of the neck with like the cutthroat thing, like the ye olde razor. And. <laughs> One time, like, because I know that he do, they do do a shave as well there. And I was like, maybe I should get that from you. And then he was like, I don't know. I was like, he was like, I'm looking at it and maybe, ah, a straight razor. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. And he was like, ah, but maybe your skin's too sensitive. And I was like, oh, how could you say that? My skin is so not just sensitive. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> See if any sense. I do actually, I do actually have sensitive skin. What do you skin. think of squash? No, soup. but that I don't know you stop. Yeah, that name is weak sauce. No! Just like whoever came up with it. Pathetic attempt at copying my greatness. No! Stick with the original, baby. No, I hate it here. And tonight we're silent.
Simhead82 says, Hey Mouse, how do you feel about Shibs drawing you like a sperm? <laughs> Hey Grizzly, what's well, up, dude? Well, Simhead82. How you doing? If Shibs wants to take artistic liberties and depict me as a sperm, who am I to judge? After all, it takes a lot of swag to swim through life. <laughs> Look at that. She seems pretty happy about being a sperm. She loves Shibs. She does. She does. We need to. We need to change that. We need to change that. It's too, too bullshit. It's some bullshit. Howdy, howdy. She my bestie. Ugh, disgusting. Ah, oh, it's because I didn't move the ladder. Oh, I'm such a silly billy. Yes, I'm not needed. I know, right? Look at that. That's why she made 15 new friends this year on Steam. So she could cast away the old ones, Simhead. Oh. oh. Grizzly, you got any big uh, cr happy holiday plans or anything? If you uh, if you do celebrate. Oh, oh no. Oh, oopsie doopsie. I nearly, uh, nearly did a tumble. I took a little tumble off the cliff. Come on, you got this. There we go. So, oh no, 25! Oh, thank you so much for the 25 ships. Oh my goodness. That is, um, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Shit, I forgot to do the water. No wonder you want a week off. <laughs> The torture. Corey went to the barber that would offer him a cold beer. Really? You know what, though? I've never been offered a drink at all when I've been to get my hair cut. Why don't I get a drink when I go and get my hair cut? No one ever goes, oh, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a coffee? Oh, no. I don't get none of that. Oh, my mom goes to the hairdresser. Oh, would you like a tea or something? Just a little drink. I'm like, what am I? The air that you breathe? What the fuck's going on there? Metal power Only coffee. Like aluminium. Damn. Uh, you still play Cookie Run? I do not play Cookie Run anymore. No, no. Are you still playing it, Gorzy? Not many, but family are planning some holiday dinner and some shopping. Oh, Grizzly, that sounds great. Hey, I hope you have a great, great uh, dinner. Gotta love the... Christmas or dinner, just any like gathering dinner is usually so good. Like a nice big dinner. Hey, oh, what's going on here? Oh, they just put it so we can go back and forth super easy. Go to, go to. So, it was the goal of Rasco's gang to rob the bank. Oh. Can I be the kawaii one if nobody else wants to take it? I'll accept it. I'll be kawaii. The I've got sensitive skin. All of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. I can fulfill the role. If nobody else wants to. Yoink. And all right. for the sewers with a red cross. Oh, the Red Cross, eh? Didn't realize, didn't realize they were involved. This vault belongs to the Bank of England. What gave that away? Maybe it was the Bank of England on the front of it. Yeah, you still the play, Gozzy. Which one do you play? The deposit Oven Break or are you playing you Kingdom? A great many valuables. The Kawhi one? <gasps> no! Dang it, you bastard. You bastard. can't believe you said the that The wall me. of the vault has been melted through. Still warm. Could you do... Oh, iron? Yeah, I guess so. What do they make bank vaults out of nowadays? Stainless steel? Titanium? Something like that. Don't advertise that. I'm going to go. It's closed already. There you go. For, yeah, for malpractice. 
Oh, you play both. Oh. Nice. All right, examine the map. So if we come out of here... Door down here, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be over. You got a headache from the biometric pressure in the fog? <gasps> no. So you got to how do you how do you combat that then? Jambalaya. <laughs> Cute. Metal rings. They're used to hold the barrel in one piece. Yeah, no shit. A banknote. Dry, so it hasn't been here very long. Oh, they're putting everything in barrels. All of the licorice has been eaten. Yeah, we saw licorice on that man's pants. These barrels are empty and unsealed. What gave that away? We found the Marauder's Mat. Marad. Quite a popular brand of cigarette. Oh, it's a cigarette! I thought it was a mat! This cigarette stub is dry. It was discarded fairly recently. This cigarette stub is dry. The tobacco's aroma is still strong. It's, uh, sweet and nutty. That's what they used to say about me in high school. ...for the loot, which they then threw into the water. I need to warn Lestrade about this. <coughs> Best bank vaults are ones made from tungsten mixed metals. Forgot the name, but they're kind of rare. Oh. I guess that's what, is that what, like, casinos use then as well? What's, uh, what's your casino bank vault made out of, Gem? You can tell us. Tr we're trustworthy. What's the code? Ah, uh, just, you know, just to... Make sure that in case you forget, then we can help you remember. You know, not that we're going to tell anybody. Yeah, you see, Simmons even going to ride it down. And don't. So I think we're just going to go to the Scotland Yard, yeah. You really buy into the bank stuff, vault stuff? What do you mean buy into it? I'm not put. Um, sure. Oh, why did I say tungsten? I don't know. Oh bloody hell, he's got a shine. What happened? One of the suspects, a Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um, he hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I... Uh... Of course. That's all? Just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, <laughs> I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will be absent for a couple of days. Can we keep this incident between us? I don't know, dude. You got a massive shine, or it's quite hard to hide it. Maybe if you get some concealer or something. I don't really know, dude. Oh, yeah. There is no vault. What do you mean there's no vault? Where'd you keep all the money then? You just, what'd you do? Stuff it up your trousers? Please, sir. Release my son. Oh, th what, what, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need an explanation. In a bank. Wait, the, 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 the casino has its own bank connected to it? <laughs> I don't know, but considering he's, uh, he said sorry, I think he's innocent. Yeah, me too, Grizzly. I'm going to let him off with a warning. I'll draw you a picture. Oh, okay, then. I'll draw us a picture. All right. The initials MB. Ah, Mario Brothers. Mr. Mr. Butcher, we have the most excellent news for you. Please arrange to visit the hospital as soon as possible so we may conclude this matter. Her condition is stationary. Oh, 
he ran off to see his wife. Yesterday perhaps explains why Butcher was in such a hurry. At any rate, I now have an exact address. Okay. So, Jim, how often do the vans or the cars leave the casino uh, to drop off the money? Just, you know, we're just, we're just, you know, we're just trying to paint a picture of where you're working. Mr. Butch, your repeated absence, which is compounded by delays with existing workload, simply cannot continue. We're responsible for a number of serious errors that your colleagues have found themselves compelled to rectify. We're sorry for this present situation, as you have always been an exemplary employee. We understand the complication of your personal situation, but if you are unable to correct your behavior in the immediate future, we'll be forced to terminate your employment. <gasps> oh. At what Trainer times, yeah? Before, every day, now three times a week. James is going to draw you a cock and balls. Hell this yeah. This pen is an expensive one, but it isn't new. I don't think it's got a cap on it either. He's got... Reginald Butcher is fond of sweets. Maybe he's got a sweet tooth. Can't, can't knock him for that. Brink trucks. Thick leather gloves. They're probably insulated. Yeah. And then they're probably for challenge people to a duel. <laughs> Benjamin, my son, I'd be so pleased if you could join me and help me lead our next charity banquet, which is due to take place on Sunday after the service. Your good will bring such joy, and I know that I may rely upon you. Remember how your life began in sin. You're feeling rejected and alone in the world, and now you turn to the criminal path, but you found strength within you to make the change and become a good man. Your Lord will have mercy upon you. I shall always be happy to see you in our church, my son. God bless you, Pastor Gordon. I didn't realize the Italians ran it. I never had Pastor Gordon before. My life has changed thanks to Pastor Gordon and my faith. Hmm. Murad, quite a popular. <gasps> that was the ones in the th Ooh. whiskey. Of poor quality. Oh. oh, it was tongsten. Your headaches messing with you, Yoshi Yoshi Seika. So have you made? Uh, have you taken something for it? You're not. Are you, or are you just ride in the storm, <laughs> Mr. Garrett? We are obliged to inform you that despite your ex expropriation. Don't know what that means. You are still in the debt of considerable summer money. We would request that you contact our payment service as soon as possible as we would be obliged to involve the police in this unfortunate matter. Man, the Bank of England, right? Electrical into... wires. All right. A book. Karl Heinz's 1848 De Maud with a bookmark. Well, you want to open it? Oh, well. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. Oh. If you have to blow up off the continent and create a bloodbath in order to destroy the barbarians party, you can you can be deemed to possess neither scruples nor conscience. Anyone would not happily sacrifice his own life for the honor of exterminating a million barbarians is not a true republican. I agree, just uh, clear search sightedness. You took some hyperproof ends. Oh, that's good then. That's good. That's good. Look after yourself. Have you eaten as well? Has everybody been eating? Terry's wedding ring is made of tungsten. <gasps> it's a bank vault. It's a bank vault. Oh my goodness. You have? That's good. That's good. Uh, Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Hello, 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 young man. Let's Good have a look. At my name is Sherlock Holmes, and I'm a bank vault of my love. Oh, oh, oh. I was Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Oh. <laughs> are you dying of cringe at your own sentence? What am I doing for Christmas? Like the 24th or the 25th? Always oh, tried to scratch it out, though. Hey, look at that. He tried to scratch it away. Yeah. <laughs> Wedding rings made of coins and are made with breakable faults. Ooh. So whose fault is it if it breaks, then? I think he's religious. It's Terry's fault. All right. Oh, he's a smoker or something. He's been calloused hands. He's a manual worker. Yeah, but he's got all yellow fingernails, though, as well. So he's a smoker. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't this guy that got the busted leg? Yes. Oh, so on the 24th, uh, I'm streaming as normal, finishing at about six, uh, five or six my time. 
Uh, I've got to ring the parentals and stuff like that. And then on the 25th, we're playing Baldur's Gate. And then, uh, yes. Benjamin Fowler. All right, then. Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square's statue. I worked for the council. I swear it. All right, then. Uh, think about it. If it starts coming off circulation, they have a... They've, they got to have a way to break it off. Oh, okay, okay. What kind of Christmas is that? The best type. Do you ever work with electricity? I'm playing a yes, bunch of sometimes. shitty I'll little Christmas posts, games. And then I'm going to play the Grinch, which also might be shit. And it. probably some fishing, which would be great. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me. So please let me go. I know nothing. I swear. Yes, you swear it. I know. Hi, Sleeks. Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it. I but swear. You got a dog tattoo, dude. But your tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um. So 24th. No, no I think it'd be midnight 25th really for got, you. I swear it. I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. <laughs> I all my dogs and my otherwise. cats as well. All right, that guy. That guy's a little Please bit. escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> Dude, your you hands are disgusting. Murder, of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No He's lying, is he, say, cat too? Okay. Yet. <coughs> oh, dude, this guy is, like, dead. He's practically in a coffin. He's dying. He's bloody ill, is what he is. Oh, my days. He's an anarchist. Yeah. <gasps> He's got a rip on his things. He's poor. Yeah. Dude, this guy poor AF. Ooh. He works with electricity though. What's this? Can't click it. Can we click it on the other sleeve? He's got some black shit on his thing. Black spooting silly colosis. Thomas Gara. There we go. I'll be here on the 24th midday waiting. You're going to wait a whole day? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. 24th midnight. So then you're going to wait for 24 hours? Okay, okay. Like in anticipation. That means you get to see all the dog shit that uh, I'll play beforehand. Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes. I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep. There were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. You're ill, sir. You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <laughs> Dude, you've got black spot spunk on your shirt. Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Yeah. Well observed. Yes, I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire Why you always lying? Since always lying. Yes. At the Newcastle Mines. Newcastle Mines? Oh. Ago. Those were bloody times. Yeah, those were bloody times. Ah, it's a journey. In those holes like my father and my brothers did. In order to line the pockets of the rich. <laughs> that is true, though, isn't it? Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? Are you a mind reader? <laughs> there are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes. I teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. Yeah. I, I, nobody said you were dumb. I think you've brought this upon yourself, dude. Uh, Alright, we can go and see the hospital now. <laughs> I'm not crying! You're crying!
You too, why are you crying? I'm apparently in the children's ward. <gasps> oh no, it's not a... Uh, it's his daughter, not his waifu. <gasps> My god, look at this giraffe. Oh dear. Look at that. That's freaky, isn't it? Uh, I'm not a Suki Lala, thank you very much. Uh, I think you'll find I'm Suki Dipsy. You are the Lala one. Mr. Jimmy, good morning. Mr. Jimmy, did you buy Baldur's Gate 3? Remember to install it before, you know, 137 gig. Uh, this is Meryl Butcher. Meryl Butcher. Was that all we read from the chart? Okay. Oh, we've got, a, we've got an ad, so we'll just do a bit of a waiting. You are? Uh, no. I just told you. You actually did. All I heard was Squire say you told. You ran away too fast. Yeah. Hi, you told. Bye, you told. Much more. You then did you find your giant thing of your favorite chippies? Oh, yeah. You told. What did you ask for from Santa San this year? Uh. You did, you got it, it was, it was worth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I think, though, because it, I also think that maybe because it won uh, Game of the Year as well, they probably were going to, like, give it a little bit of a, a discount. So it was definitely worth, uh, it was definitely worth waiting. Yeah, hell yeah, 10%, worth it. You downloading the game? I'm not like the one we know. Yeah. <laughs> you did it, tell me you did. Oh, yeah, you got to download your stickers. Claim your stickers, everybody, if you give a shit. You asked for chippies and saw them, and it said from Squire. That's right. That's right. Uh, I gave you to some chippies. All is right with the world. Ads. Yeah, don't worry. We're uh, we're waiting. I guess uh, one halfway through. I guess it just randomized. It's like, yeah, we'll just give him this right here. At least Seribot works. This is really good. I'm glad we set this up. Thank you, Jem, for letting me know. Such a baby. I know. You tell him. Such a, why are you crying? I tell you, it, I don't. Weak. Weak kids. Yeah, look at him. Sitting there crying. <gasps> I know, you two. I know. I know. I know. Me, 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 It's good. It's good. I think it just, like, has to adjust, though. Because I think at the beginning of the stream, it throws it off. Because when you start streaming, your ad manager doesn't go into effect straight away. It takes, like, a minute or so. So sometimes Twitch just runs an ad at the very start. Which uh, kind of throws everything off. Woo! Weaving! <clears throat> Jam, you're not. Oh, don't, don't give in to, don't give in to. It's, it's not like this thing. You should let him suffer. You should. How could you? What have you done? Oh, Jam! Thank you so much for the gift of the day, and day, and you, you Suki Twinkie Winky. There you go. <laughs> I might have to refresh, though, in order for it to take effect. Thank you so much. Imagine dealing with camera server issues, but the problem is with the software. Ooh, that's always in it. You wanted a 3D printer for Christmas? What's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, Christmas movie. I mean, people's Die Hard 1, obviously, Grizzly. Die Hard 1 is every, one of everyone's favorites. Home Alone 1 and 2. Home Alone 1 and 2 is definitely one of my faves. Uh, I rewatched Santa Claus the other day with, uh, what's his face? Tim Collins is his name? I actually don't really know his name. Um, but pro I would say Home Alone. Home Alone 1 and 2 are peak. Or peak Christmas. <laughs> we fighting. Who fighting with you? He asked for an Astro Projector instead of LED like Bonsai Tree Lego set. Switch games with the membership and Steam games. Oh. Those are your favorite Christmas movies too, Grizzly? Let's go. Grizzly, what's your favorite Christmas song? Bruce Willis said it isn't. What is he? The, the Jesus reincarnated. What is he? Speaking the gospel truth all the time, is he? Tim Allen. Thank you, Seikatsu. It was Tim Allen. Tim Collins. I don't even know who that is. Just the star of the movie. <laughs> Why are we shouting? 
The astral projector causes it displays plans and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool, you do. If you get it, let us um, take a picture of it. I'd love to see it. Wow, don't you wow me. It was awesome. Oh, Home Alone. I've not watched Home Alone 1 and 2, actually. I need to watch it. Dude, this is the same picture as that wife from the previous map. Have you guys got the same wife? Mr. Butcher's wife. Dude, she was young as well. 18! No. 22. Eh, same shit. You're not that into Christmas songs, but Snow Miser is a pretty good. Snow Miser. I don't know that one. I'm about to get a special gilded coat hanger just for you. Ooh. Make sure it's got silk on it as well. You don't want a crease or, you know, you don't want no creases in the shoulders and stuff. It's an action movie set join. Christmas. There's the sea word. Ooh. Christmas. Diet is a Christmas movie. I don't care what all you say. That's right, Jimmy. You tell him. You tell him because you're big and brave. Mr. Butcher, I can confirm that we are willing to admit your daughter into the care of our hospital. You're responsible for the travel expenditure. Natural uh, taking of all appropriate precaution due to the delicate state of her. Additionally, you must attend any accommodation costs and all medical attention. The final bill cannot be summarized within this letter. It will depend on the cost upon your daughter's condition. But I warn you that the sum may be considerable. Dear knockout! Oh, oh Stockholm! Oh my god, look at the Swedes ripping him off. Poor man. Oh, look at this. Karolinska University Hospital, Stockholm. The Swedes have come in. They've put all of their bloody taxis on the top of it. Ah, oh, there you're you're domed. You're domed, dude. You ain't pay, never paying this off. Mr. Reginald Butcher, I've come from Scotland Yard. Might we talk? Oh, Are you slow? Oh yeah, I'm early. super slow. She's finally asleep. Is she your daughter? My pretty little Meryl. Only one She's and two. Oh early. yeah, only one and two say cat no, no. yeah. I'm sorry I ran, but I had to see Dr. Blowberry today and the policeman wouldn't listen. Don't worry. I understand now. I do it out. She shouted at you without you even saying anything. Well, well. She, you know why, Jimmy? Because she's just dramatic. That's why. That's why. But Bryce Willis. Bryce wasn't even in it. You haven't even seen Die Hard. Too funny. Uh, it's probably just was it was once prosperous. You are the most dramatic one. <laughs> Please. Please. Don't you start modding over here with your giant candy cane. Oh you bitch! <laughs> Shiny shoes recently clean. I don't know. He looks like he's got a daughter's gift. I don't know where that is. Oh yeah, Sega, do you swing that dumper? Tok Tokyo Godfathers is probably your fave Christmas movie. I've never seen that one. Oh yeah, damn. You bringing in the Christmas and the New Year with all that. Bringing it right round. Oh, damn. Okay. All right, let's, uh... Let's ask him about his job. What do you do for a living, Mr. Butcher? I... I work at the office of the Underground Electric Railways Company. Then you must be familiar with electrical devices. I, I will be. This is, might be an unpopular ask? opinion. No I mean, what isn't Tell what me. I say? But, uh, I don't actually don't... Elf is not really a movie I can watch. Problems? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <sighs> Uh, I've got a letter from the butcher's job. You have already received a written warning. Yes. I'm often late to work. My boss doesn't understand my situation. It's difficult since my daughter became ill. I see. Hmm. It's just because I'm, I'm really not into Will Farrell. Farrell? Farrell? Whatever his name is. I just... Oh. I don't know. There's something about him. I just can't... I just really can't watch him. So, like some of his movies, that's the thing though. I think, I don't know if I've ever, I think I've just got myself in such a state that I've never really actually seen it all the way through. 
I think I just saw too much of his stuff and I'm like, oh, don't really enjoy some of his content, so. Coincidentally, we found one of your company's cabs in the square where the accident occurred. Really? Why was it there? I have no idea. Do you? No. But a week ago, we had a technical cab stolen along with its tools. Do you think that could be the one? It's possible. Can she be cured? It'll take a long time, but I'm confident that we'll win this fight. I can't bear to think otherwise. Yes, it's probably just a question of money. What are you talking about? It's a question uh, of willpower. Yudo 1900 will says, I once stole my neighbor's cat and used it in a magic ritual to summon a talking squirrel and guess what? It worked. But let's keep that between us 2020 shoe. The 2020 shoe. Yudo 1900, you glorious maniac. I love your style. Stealing cats for magical rituals and summoning talking squirrels? That's next level madness. Our secret is safe, but keep those wild adventures coming. <laughs> you thought you got a you got a bit of a a bit of a homie right there in Bishmouse. Gotta watch Lord of the Rings as well. You gotta time it though, just so it hits on the new year. Right? So it begins. Yeah, gems into that too. Oh, someone's holding hostage the other Christmas movies I'm meant to be watching. <gasps> Are they really ships? You better you better freaking write them an angry email. <clears throat> uh, Christmas movies are good, but what's your favorite Christmas special, like show of an episode and whatnot? I actually don't watch that many TV shows, to be honest, Grizzly. I'm like, I get, I get really sidetracked, uh, and I get, I, I don't know, I get really bored of shows, so I never actually really make it to Christmas stuff like specials because I watch like th three episodes and I'm like, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of done. Yeah. She likes legless. Oh. She likes them when they're legless, Dagan, you know, then they can't run away. Also, then she's taller than them. <laughs> Charlie Brown's Christmas. A Charlie Brown's Christmas. Oh. Actually, you know what I watched though the other week? Hang on, let me um Let me just get the name of it. Let me get the name. It's uh di -di 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 -di. Oh. Oh, uh, what was it called? What was it called? I've bloody forgotten the name. Um. Oh, no, I really have. I can't find the... The show that... What is it? The show that goes wrong? What was that? Oh, Jimmy... Jimmy recommended it. What was the Jimmy, if you're still there, what was that show called again? The British show where everything goes wrong? The show that always goes wrong. It was something like that. And they had a nativity play or like a Christmas version. And that was super good. I really, really enjoyed that. I like that. That's uh, that's the one I really, really like, Grizzly. Do you have a, sh a favorite for Christmas specials? The show goes wrong. Oh, there you go. That's it. That's it. The show go the goes wrong show. Oh my god, I still read it wrong. The goes wrong show Christmas specials. The all the episodes are fantastic. Uh, but yeah, that would probably be my favorite current Christmas special. Oh, you also like Blackadder. Blackadder had um, he had some good ones as well. I do hope so. Although the treatment at the Karolinska University Hospital is very expensive. Ah. Um. Yeah, it's our only hope. Thanks to the good Dr. Blowberry, she finally has a bed. We're going out next week. I watched it's Trading Places yesterday. That movie had a lot of yeah, explicit absolutely. language yes. and some hard R's. I know. Yeah, daughter too. Your favorite was the Upside Down episode? Oh, yeah, that was we mad. Our lives for our children. That we'll was a really good one, wasn't it? When they had to do everything 90 yes. degrees and stuff. Of course, yes. Damn the willpower. They must have been super tense like I was during my mass arch. <laughs> Shh. Mel's asleep. Okay. Sorry. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Me, me, I'm a doctor. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Damn, look at this. They got, old, they got a bird in the hospital. You can't have a bird in a hospital. Usually skip the throat. Oh, they, dude, I remember I watched like the whole movie and I literally skipped every single part with Frodo and Sam. 
It just drags, dude. I'm like, oh, I don't really care about these two. Yeah, so it took like the whole 13 hours. Cut out at least five hours or something. I'll trim that stuff right down. <laughs> I do the same in Lord of the Rings. Skip through it. Scrub through And about there. All right, I think we did everything. I think we got everything. Um, so I think we need to just make a deduction now. Oh, my days. All right. Mr. Garrett's side job, electrician. Oh, electrocution even. <coughs> Whoopsie. Um, insufficient knowledge. It's really good, but I, I've seen it so many times now. It's a skip. Oh, I just think, like, that's the thing. I've seen it, but, like, it drags compared to the rest of the movie, you know. All right. So then we have Mr. Fowler's work and also electrocution because they've all got those. Um, but he's not a specialist, is he? That's sad. Um, Gem, good night. Have a good stream, everyone. Please behave. Christmas is around the corner. It is indeed, Gem. Have a wonderful sleep and one more work day, I presume, until um, you're off. Unless you are off tomorrow, in which case, um, have a good sleep and a good... Uh... <clears throat> one more indeed. The Friday. The Friday. Uh, difficult life. Criminal in the past. You doubt you'll be. <gasps> oh my goodness. PSA, PSA. Simon is not planning on being good. Uh, seriously, old order and problems at work. Is Butcher's problems. The Hobbit had, an, had other excellent parts like the music. <clears throat> if I thought tomorrow, I'd be naughty and stay up. Oh, well, maybe, you know. Considering you didn't eat yesterday. PSA, did you know that uh, Gem didn't eat yesterday? Just thought I'd uh, <clears throat> let everybody know. Hate the extra love interest girl, though. Oh. Stop snitching. No, 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 no. I'm really good at snitching. I feel like we're missing something here. Oh no, we're missing something. You've been sick all week? Have you had the spicy flu or? <clears throat> Maybe we missed something down here in the bank. Because the other sin said, did it say bank or it said bank something or other, so. No, we're going to wait, Wednesday is the 27th. Smog uh, voice acting was legendary. Yeah, did you see the um, <clears throat> abridged version of The Hobbit they did? Where uh, they took out all the fluff and they made it. They took all the three movies and made it into one. One movie, which followed the book. Because <clears throat> I can't believe they split that book into three movies. I really can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a super condensed version of uh, the thing. I'll, if you can't find it, I'll try and... Uh, I'll give it a Google later. And it was actually really nice to watch. Because <clears throat> no, there really is no need for having so much fluff in The Hobbit. I think two would be best, you reckon? Who would leave a sausage in a bank vault? <coughs> I just thought I'd bring a little snack.
Stephen Fry was good. Oh, yeah. Stephen Fry is phenomenal. Love us some Stephen. What's he up to these days? I don't know what he's up to. We just had a little, uh, he had some man flu this week. <laughs> you keep in touch with Steven? Uh, no, I don't actually. No, not spoken to him for a while. Um, no, no, no. Time difference and stuff. We could just never find a time, you know. I should probably see what he's up to. I'll, uh, I'll try and uh, I'll try and try and see if he's around. Because you know we're we you know being both being British, we've obviously got each other's number and stuff. You know, it's just it just goes without saying, really. How much bit of sausage everyone wants if it's in a vault? I know the forbidden sausage, probably. I really don't know, but I'm missing some key evidence, which I um, which I really don't know where I'm gonna get. See, because it was clearly like a robbery. Maybe I missed something at the, the main part? Examine the belongings of the victims and suspect. Wait, I didn't do that? Bullshit. I already examined it, did I not? How did I not do this bit? Did I... F no. I examined everything. No, 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 no. Ain't no shot that I missed that. Examine these nuts. Yeah, it says. Oh my god, there was another one. Oh, I didn't see Rasko this. And his acolyte. Rasko is fond of licorice. Huh. The licorice was found both at the sewers and amongst Rasko's belongings. A normal pocket knife. A standard deck. A Webley revolver. A web When did um a police report about Rasco? He's only a minor criminal. M minor criminal, you say? Dude's been uh Hey Pico, what's up, dude? Oh, Uh, I don't know yet. Rob the bank, I guess. Okay, rob the bank. Just an anarchist? Is that one uh, right, I wonder? Who knows? Bank robbery as well. The rascal gang. Benjamin Fowler was once a member of the Rascal, but that's all now in the past. I think that he might be telling the truth. Let's go with that. Underground worker. Butcher's love. Original butcher's not a criminal. He's a beloved daughter. Uh, original butcher needs urgent medical... Oh, yeah, because he wanted money to rob the bank. He needed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. evil plan Jesus okay Mr. Butcher is the murderer oh damn okay yeah Mr. Butcher it is indeed Reginald Butcher is a dangerous criminal who not only robbed the bank but also killed all his accomplices he must be imprisoned let's get him 
In daughter might be on death's door, but that's not the point. Hey, warming tea, what's up? How's it going? Thank you so much for coming in and saying thank you to the ships for the gift sub. That is uh, that is mighty nice of you. Thank you so so much. That Mr. means a lot. Mr. Butcher, say goodbye to your daughter. Jom Jom has gone to sleep. Pick up. She got to work murder. tomorrow. Ooh, he likes licorice. Lock him away. You don't like licorice, Grizzly? Does that mean I have to go to be, to prison as well? Because uh, I like licorice. What would a bank's money be worth against the life of a child? I love you, Meryl. Murder is never proof of love. Now, please, come with us. All right, uh, check the conclusion. We were right, accept it. Okay, I'm the exception. Yes! <laughs> uh, yeah, I think for me, which one is it? It's the, um, it's your American uh, licorice that you guys have. What's it called again? What's the American? Good and plenty. Oh, I like that. I like the good and plenty. Like the little bullets. Those are good. Holmes. I mean, I like normal licorice as well, but I think it's when it's got the little, like, candy coating or whatever, it just offsets it. Mrs. Hudson, she's gone out to ask around the neighborhood. Bloody hell, Kate. Kate, come back. Kate, are you here? Kate. Oh, my God. Kate, are you here? Are you stupid? Toby. Where's Toby? <gasps> Just take a Toby. Licorice is poison. You mean you're telling me you don't like the salted licorice? The finished stuff? Okay. Oh, oh my god. She was writing something here. I'm good. Missing writing diary. What happened here? Suitcase. Why would she take her suitcase? Uh, 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 um. She's she missing the clothes. She took all of her favorites. They packed her things and left. I don't understand. Oh shit. What's that? The sound came from Alice's room. Alice! Oh my god. Alice! Alice, where the ah! Kate, where are you? Jesus, what the? F oh no! I, I I don't don't. Everyone always tells me that. Wow. I wish Alice would have done. Where did you find that axe? Ain't no shot that this axe is open in this metal door. Yeah, that's right. Alice the snake. Have you ever had Jungivrul? I definitely butchered that, but um, I don't know. Have I? Mr. Holmes, you never did. Wait, what? Slapper! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll make her talk. We don't need her. Just use your skill. I'll take care of her. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I didn't even ask her any questions. I just slapped the bitch. Sorry, I didn't even ask her anything. She's just angry. Okay, that's fine. I, wait, why is she dressed for a funeral anyway? She's got her mourning clothes on. Damn. I just wear like... Hey, she's going on the train. Where are you, where are you bloody going? Oi. Yay. Oh, my God. She's got cocaine on her. Or oh, chalk. Uh, both in the same. This will not change anything, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I... I remember this place from my last visit. It's different now. Something was taken from here. Oh, no. Uh... No, no, my 
choice is not entirely correct. Oh wait, oh I don't have to oh I thought I had to select stuff. Oh I don't have to select stuff. Oh that was my bad. Okay, right. So this was here. The candles near the chair were definitely. The grimoire book, yes. The table of practice. And uh phonograph. That's right. Portrait of Alice's father, William Hamilton, and some items required to conduct a seance are missing. Okay, that's a good first one. So, right, if we get the if the, we get spiritual seance, she had a seance with her father, uh, and then she was she was hightailing it out of here, and a cemetery visit all lead to the family crypt. The lead goes to the cemetery. Watson, keep an eye on her. We could have been something, babe. Because uh, I really like your peachy lips. Oh, my God. Nate, are you here? What is going on here? Kate. On the crossing. Oh, my God. Animal crossing, I tell you. Go to the old cemetery. The old cemetery. Trampled by feet. Felled by bullet. Scholar of Rose. Kate's diary. Yoink! I'm with Alice at the cemetery. We're going to speak to her father. The ceremony scares me, of course, but I'm excited to. I shouldn't allow myself to feel scared as to what is the fall. What is to follow will be even scarier. She's so beautiful. She prepared the candles, the portrait. She looks so relaxed. I cannot prevent myself from trembling. She begins. She calls him. She's turning it on herself and she's muttering. I can't understand as she speaks a strange language. She's holding chalk sticks in both of her hands. I'm trembling. I cannot help it. Her eyes are wide. Her movements are convulsive as one in... In the throes of death, she doesn't see me. She begins to speak to him, and it's horrible. I want to cry. She's writing everything with both sticks of chalk. Cool. Grizzly, what's your favorite snack? Or, <clears throat> I guess, uh, candy? Do you like Step Up, yes or no? The, the singing dancing movie? Oh, my God. She's, she's good in... Yeah, yeah, I watched those. I enjoyed them. I mean, that wasn't... Ah. All three? Uh, I don't know if I've seen all three. But I've definitely seen one and two. I might have seen three. I'm just not too sure. Because I'm pretty sure they aren't named one, two, three. I'm pretty sure they've got all funky stuff. Funky names like Step Up the Reunion and things like that. Right? single message, a guide. Kate's suitcase. Why did she leave it here? They are named one, two, three. Oh, are they? Oh. Shit, I don't know. Maybe I have them. I don't know. <laughs> cinnamon candy. Oh, what's that American cinnamon candy? The red one. The. The. Dig in. The. The. Does it begin with a T? I know which one. I don't know if you like if that's the one, though, no. Grizzly. Hot tamales. That's the one. I probably butchered that pronunciation but thank you simon and popcorn Ooh, popcorn what's your favorite flavor of popcorn that's where alice's father was buried do you guys prefer uh prefer the sweet one the salty one the 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 peculiar flavors like they have in japan she hates them don't want simon you know why because ships is already a hot tamales. <laughs> oh, dear, you don't. Hey, how's it going? Roll them arms, yeah. Uh, Tess, good night. Have a wonderful sleep, Tess. I'm sorry that uh, Remy the Rat was being a little bastard today, but I hope uh, hope you'll have a good night's sleep. Be careful not to, you know, make sure you sleep relaxed if possible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, indeed. 
Hey, dude. What's up? Madam Destiny. Oh, you don't, don't you stop being all angry. You pronounce it correctly? Oh, hell yeah. You love all kinds of popcorn. Oh, you like the salty one? I was never a fan of the salty popcorn when I was a kid. Alice keeps her father's belongings in this room, even the canteen from his boat. I think as a kid, I always got the sweet one if we went to the cinema. But in the, in the UK, we never had a... Um, oh, I've already, I've already read that. It's Alice's father mummified. Oh, yeah, we, we read that already. Salty or nothing? Interesting. So in Japan, they have like soy sauce. And they also have like soy sauce butter. Those are really good. Alice sleeps here. Alice is Cute. merely peculiar. She is mentally ill. I know, she's kind of hot though. Do we want to stick our dick in crazy or not? Alice, she brought my daughter even further. They followed this direction in, in this message. Question. No such thing as sweet popcorn. Is there or not? So, wait. So, Swedish popcorn is salty or, you know, you're not eating? Butter and salt? Mm -hmm. I would probably like it now though. In Germany, we have popcorn. What flavors of popcorn do you have in Germany? Anything weird? Don't stick your dick in crazy, you'll pay for it. Oh, I've got to pay as well? Mm. Is she going to give me a good rate, or... Is it by the hour? Do they charge by the hour, or is it a flat fee? <laughs> Asking, just, just curious now. Lifetime of... I didn't, sign up. I didn't sign up for a lifetime subscription. I can't remember that there was such a thing like flavor, but it wasn't salty, so I think it's sweet. Interesting. On, I'm desperate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Use imagination to visualize them. Go to the old cemetery and find the crypt on the crossings of four others. Felled by bullets, scholar of rolls, earth digging giant, and trampled by feet. Ah, dear. Uh, right. What's what? Uh, what do we? Who's this? Matthew. Some facts about certain famous people buried in this cemetery. Oh wait, do I have to click those? Do I if I click these, does it work or does it click click? No, no man. It's been a while since also since I've been to the cinema. William Shore. Got to pay for it like the battle pass in a video game. <laughs> right, okay. Do you reckon, though, some ladies of the night, do you reckon they have, like, stamp cards? You know, like, you have point cards? How do you select the crypt? Okay, we've got one. Unnamed, so it's not going to be that one. You know, like... 10, 10 sessions, the 11th one's free kind of thing, or... Do you reckon they have that? Do you reckon they have a loyalty system? I'm just, I'm just, just, just thinking in this day and age, you know, everything's got bloody points cards, hasn't it? Did you know love hotels in Japan have cards? I don't think that's right. Scholar of Rhodes. Really? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested otherwise. Hey, hey, hey. It's a superpower. Cyrus Ver... Definitely not that one. Name's too hard to pronounce. It won't be that one. We could probably run around a little bit. Unnamed. <laughs> I just want the best bang for my buck, if you know what I mean. Archibald Irwin. Cartographer. Major roads. So every 10 days you work, do you make the 11th day free? Uh, I don't know. Do I? Oh, good question. No, not really. But also, my... Uh, 
my customers aren't paying because they're children. You see, they don't pay for their education. So I think really, you know, so it's like, you know, when you go to the restaurants. Do you, do you, wait, do restaurants in America not have loyalty systems? Was shot in a duel? Um, killed by an elephant. There we go. this one <laughs> Alice, hello. oh it's Kay yeah I forgot my, my daughter's own name I mean I did I did charge I did charge the adults yeah that's right other people pay me for the uh <laughs> for the Hello, police? No, 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 you don't understand! Listen, I didn't think my words through before I said them. Keisatsu? No, 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 Seikatsu. Pico, what? Was is das? Wait, Mar wait, Moriarty? Like, my brother? Why did it have to be like this? My delivery, estimated delivery. Oh! You got an estimated delivery for the 22nd. Ooh, what are you getting? What are you getting, Pico? I, I put it in Google. I was like, wait, what's going on? What's getting delivered? <laughs> My observation for the asteroid movement. You get a new monitor? Alright, right, Pico, I've learned something about new monitors, right? You've got to leave them in the box for a year so they kind of, uh, so they mature. It's kind of like a fine whiskey. The longer you leave it in the box, <laughs> the better. You see, I learned that from my, from my good friend, Simon82. You didn't know it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to leave it in for about a year or just a little bit longer. And then... You know, it comes out and it's better. The pixels have matured, you know. They're not too super duper happy. They're not going to be whizzing around. They won't die, you know. They'll just be, whew, they've settled in, you know. <laughs> the dynamics of an asteroid. Work by I can't believe it's been a year. <laughs> I really can't believe it's been a year. <laughs> Young Kate and her father. Oh, wait! No, wait, Moriarty was the arch enemy. Metal star with an extremely precise carving. Well, it's probably a key, is it not? Hello, hello, hello. That looks like Kate's ribbon. That's a ribbon from Kate's hair. Yeah. Could leave another year just to annoy you. <laughs> it just gives. There you go, Pico. You're going to leave it two years. <laughs> I stand corrected. From child hour, I have not been. As others were, I have not seen. As others saw, I could not bring my passions from a common spring. From the same source, I have not taken. My sorrow, I could not awaken. My heart to joy at the same tone. All I loved, I loved alone. Then in my childhood, in the dawn, for most of my stormy life was drawn. From 
every depth of good and ill, the mystery which binds me still. From feel the torrent. The rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else. No one else. That's right. Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else. No one else. So, I, mean, I don't know if that was the right one again. Or you meant to do nay. But uh, I'll take it. Zimit, thank you so much for the 75. From the torrent of the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that round, round me rolled its autumn tint of gold, from the lightning in the sky as it passed me flying by, from the thunder and the storm and the cloud that took the form, when the rest of heaven was blue of a demon in my view. Zimit, take care. <laughs> Send me a picture of your monitor in two years. <laughs> Father. Peaches, 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 you witch! Let me out free, Kate! <laughs> <laughs> Come back, witch! Huh. Witch. Any of these got like a secret button? You're having some B fast? This is the only way to get out of here. Professor James Moriarty. Because I could not stop the death. Kindly stop for me. The carriage held but just ourselves. Immortality. Oh! Moriarty must have set up an astronomer's riddle here. Oh, dude, we got the answers already, but we're gonna. I think we'll probably need this star key. Yoink. All right. Um, no. That's the one. Well, I mean, these two have got stars, but I don't know if that's like start and end. It's, I think it's just a dot to dot. I think we start here. And we go around, maybe? Um, I'm really uh, quite lost. My observation of the asteroid movement through the telescope led me to discover the two new stars which called called Mir Mirak and Adhil. Together with the other dim stars, they create a marvelous constellation. There's a shape reminds me of dear daughter Kate. Lynn. Unless it's going to tell me where to start. I guess in the center? And I mean, guess we're here? Does it really matter where we start, though? Okay, so we'll go follow it along here. Here. I mean, I'm so confused about whether or not. And then we'll come back. Alright, so do we go from here now? Would that be a good idea to finish this off? Down at the bottom. Alright, if we link that back up there. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, so it is a fixed pattern. Alright, so then we come up here. Then we come here. Let me come here. Oh, I didn't go back across. Now we can go up. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, then maybe we'll go to here. Up to here. Back to the center. And then we'll go over here. Up to here.
And then back down. Okay. Then all the way to the top. Um, I think now we just got to link everything else up. So if we go like one, two, three. Okay. I really don't know. I'm just going to make it up. The peaches give us a jump scare. Oh, sorry about that. Don't be scared of a nice peach. Embrace it. <laughs> Just, let's get out of here. Uh, where are we? Here we go. That's itchy my ear. Hold on, Kate. I'll find you. Hold on, Kate. I'm coming, Kate. Don't worry. <laughs> well. How very Skyrim. Oh. Hey, Watson. What's up, dude? Watson. Holmes. She tricked me. She... Where's she gone? Watson, where? I, I... I don't know. She left saying that she had to go and see a lady. A Mrs. Destiny? Madam Destiny. She's a boat. What? Over there, Watson. All right, let's go, Watson. Watson, where's your cool-ass hat, dude? Cool at all? Run! She's a lunatic, Watson. She made a room for her dead father, and now Kate is with her. Oh my goodness me! Let's go, 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 go! Move out! Yeah, sauce indeed. To destiny. They're on the boat. Hurry, Watson! Yeah, come on, Watson. Watson, you can leave your hat on. Never mind, you lost it. Come on, Watson. We gotta roll, roll, roll the boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Oh, look at Watson! Look at Watson doing all the bloody hard work. Stay here and hold on to the boat, Watson. Yeah, you're you're the anchor. Oh my know, but you'll be all right. Look, it doesn't burn. Come oh on. my god, she's crazy. Kate. Oh my god, no. Oh shit. Go away. Kate. Oh shit, no, oh, quickly, come back. I'm a Moriarty. I'm the devil's daughter. I'm cursed. I'm a monster. Cursed? What? There is no curse, Kate. Yes, that's why you've always lied to me. No, to protect you, you silly girl. I only lied in order to protect you. You're still so young, my God. Ask Watson. I was lied to all of my life. Do you have any idea how that feels? No, you're not Alice. No, Kate. I know what evil is. You, you have a good heart. Oh, shit. Oh, nice Matrix, dude. Oh, dude, it's got a... Oh, sick. Yes, he knows. Nothing can change fate. Listen, he allowed George Hurst to kill Lord Marsh, who was already condemned to death by tuberculosis. It's not your life. But this isn't your life. You have me. You? You? Yeah. Away. Oh, I'm home. We fight all the time. You're ashamed of me. It, it, it's my fault. No. no. It's me, Kate. I never learned patience. My own father was the same with me. It is impossible to escape death <laughs> What are we doing here? Why are we having such a com- oh. Kate, she deserves to live, don't you think? Kate, don't listen to her. And Holmes will be murdered himself. I have foreseen it. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, D. Hit the D.
Hit the A. I may be killed one day. It's a risk that I take, but my work helps to save other lives. Really? And albeit, and Percy Fleming, you save lives. No, you enjoy what? taking lives. Oh, oh my God! So your choice is kind of like a choices matter kind of thing. Kate, you'll be safe with me. I'll protect you. I care about you. How can you trust him? He killed your real father, Kate. Why? Why did you kill him? Um, he had to be eliminated. Because he was a dangerous criminal, I had no choice. See, everything <laughs> is determined. Remember the signs. Our meeting, the ceremony. The cere- Whoa, whoa, whoa. And what about your childhood? Jake, no, no. How can, how can this suddenly mean more to you than your childhood? See, it is time. <laughs> oh my God. The next life awaits us. Alice wants to kill you. Kate, she would make the boat crash to kill you. She knew that you would hesitate. I don't care. I don't belong anywhere. Oh my God, we're family. You belong with me. With family. Oh shit! Oh my god, do I get to save her or? Let's go! Swing into action! Yeet! Oh, what a mighty hero! Really was the devil's daughter. Oh, <gasps> she hits at the name of the game. Hey, the boat's going down. Oh, my God. It's going down. We're yelling timber. No, me, no one. No, 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 me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, too, Kate. into the game all oh, possible achievements as well we did it we've started our achievement hunting for 2024